Shalom from Israel. Today, we're going to learn about something very special. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you, what are we tapping into today? It's a surprise, and we're all going to jump in together on the count of three. Okay then. In Hebrew, one, two, three is achat, shtaim, shalosh. Can you say that? Achat, shtaim, shalosh. Great. Okay, let's do it. Achat, shtaim, shalosh. Wow. What do you think? I love it. What is this, some kind of tropical resort? No. Hmm. Maybe a little Hawaiian luau? Nope. Don't let the shirt fool you. Look at the roof. It's made of branches and leaves. And all the decorations? Of course. It's a sukkah. A sukkah is a special outdoor shelter that we build for the Jewish holiday of Sukkot. And we live in it for seven days. We eat in the sukkah. We play in the sukkah. We even sleep in the sukkah. It's like camping for a whole week, right outside your own house. Now, you've got to be asking, why do we live in a sukkah? Come on. Why do we live in a sukkah? I thought you'd never ask. The Torah says that when the Jewish people were traveling in the desert, which is super hot, everyone had a sukkah, a shady shelter to protect them from the hot sun. God protected the Jewish people in the desert for 40 years. So on the holiday of Sukkot, we get to live in a sukkah to remind us of what it was like all those years ago out in the desert. Hey, what you got there? Well, we already know about living in a sukkah, right? Well, here's another thing we do on Sukkot. The Torah says to take four different types of plants and fruit together on Sukkot. This big one is called a lulav. A lulav is actually a palm branch where the leaves are still closed up. And this yellow fruit? It's called an etrog. An etrog is like a big bumpy lemon. So we take our lulav and our etrog, add some hadassim and aravot, myrtle branches and willow branches, and we've got all four. Then we make a special bracha, a blessing, and we wave them all around us. And it makes us happy, because we think of all the blessings we have, all the good things that Hashem gave us, like good smelling fruits and shady trees that are all around us. What a great world! One more thing. When you see someone on Sukkot, you say the greeting, Chag Sameach, which means, have a happy holiday. Can you say Chag Sameach? Chag Sameach. Great! There are so many fun things we get to do in Sukkot. It's the holiday where we live outside in a sukkah for seven days. It's the time that we wave the lulav and etrog and think about how lucky we are to have such a great world. And most of all, it's the Zman Simchateno, a time for being happy, for spending time with our family and friends. So Chag Sameach, a happy Sukkot to everyone. See you next time! time.